As we are in the midst of one of the worst spring allergy seasons in U.S. history, it's no surprise that people suffering through sneezing, runny noses, and itchy eyes assume that the cause is seasonal allergies. But a new survey by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America reveals many people are misdiagnosing themselves, confusing those allergy symptoms with sinus infection symptoms. So joining us to explain all this is allergist Dr. Nita Ogden. Dr. Ogden, thanks so much for being here. Thank you. Tell us a little bit about this recent study by the Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America. What did they find? So what they did was they surveyed nearly 600 patients from their own database who suffer from allergies and sinusitis. They found that a lot of these patients, a significant portion, are skipping a visit to the doctor, treating themselves and diagnosing themselves. In turn, they're confusing a lot of the symptoms of sinusitis and allergies. 70% um, of these patients reported that while they trust their PCP to make a diagnosis of sinusitis, only a third of those patients actually go. Only 13% go to allergists. And what's really alarming is 25% of these patients have three or more sinus infections a year, and they're not going to see a doctor. And that suggests that they may have a severe condition like chronic sinusitis, which really does require treatment by a doctor. So essentially they're saying, look, I have, I have runny noses, itchy eyes, all of this stuff. I must have allergies. Right. And they're not getting it checked out by the doctor. Now, how should sinusitis be treated as opposed to the way you would treat a seasonal allergy? It's a very good question. And so sinusitis, one of the, the hallmarks of that treatment is that you're going to require antibiotics. Mm -hmm. More often than not, you're going to need antibiotics to clear it. Sometimes they're viral and it can sort of you know, you can get away with not getting the antibiotics, but sinusitis requires antibiotics. A lot of times people develop chronic sinusitis, like I mentioned before, so they may even need oral steroids, a longer course of antibiotics, like three weeks. So a serious treatment difference there. Yes. Can you go over then, because the symptom, what's confusing for a lot of people is the symptoms are so similar. So can you go over the symptoms and what the slight differences might be? Sure. 40% of people in this study actually admitted that they find it very difficult to differentiate between sinusitis and allergies. As doctors, what we need to do is take a good clinical history. So allergies have a specific constellation of symptoms. You get that sneezing, the watery, itchy eyes, a clear, runny nose. You can get the nasal congestion and sinus pressure, worsening asthma. Allergies, though, tend to be seasonal, or they can be year-round with kind of seasonal bumps. Mm -hmm. um, sinusitis, the symptoms are very specific to the sinuses. Headaches are more predominant, um, fatigue, pressure around the frontal sinuses or the maxillary sinuses. People very classically complain of altered taste or smell, but it's gone. Um, they don't taste things as well. They can't smell or they may have bad breath or tooth pain. Interesting. Now, since sinusitis is an infection, how does one get it. It's different than if you have a seasonal allergy, correct? Yes, exactly. So allergies are actually a cause of sinusitis, and this ah. is where the confusion starts. Allergies, if they go on severely enough or if they've been untreated, you get pooling of secretions in the nasal passages and in the sinuses, and that's a perfect environment for bacteria growth and sinusitis. The garden variety cold is often the precursor to sinusitis, actually. Interesting. So if you have had a cold and now you're suddenly developing those sinus symptoms, there's a very strong chance that you have an acute bacterial sinusitis on top of what was probably just a virus or a cold before. Right. So it's that's, that's so important to know that your allergies can lead to sinusitis. Absolutely. So you can't just assume because you always get allergies that that's all you're suffering from. Yeah. And again, tell us the treatment difference and how you would treat a sinusitis as opposed to an allergy. So if you have allergies, you know, you can start with a good old oral antihistamine um, and then move on to things like an intranasal steroid, go see your doctor, and work, if it's very severe or oral steroids, allergy shots, sinusitis people will probably start out with an antibiotic. Mm -hmm. um, both, both can be treated with decongestants as well. Um, the nasal steroid is also used for sinusitis. But the thing with sinusitis is once it becomes chronic, you, like I said, may need longer antibiotic therapy. The other big treatment difference is that chronic sinusitis can sometimes be alleviated with surgery. And this is where the oh. ear, nose, and throat doctor, the ENTs, come in because they can do some symptom relieving surgeries. And so, to take the pressure off the, you know all of your patients out there don't self-diagnose just go to your doctor your doctor can figure out what you're suffering from what kind of tests do you do on your patients to 
figure it out. Yeah, uh, like I said, we always start with a really good history. Mm -hmm. So if it sounds like this person has had seasonal symptoms, another classic things with allergies, they leave um, their usual climate and their allergies get better. Right. You won't really see that with chronic sinusitis. It tends to be more chronic and more persistent. But if we're suspecting allergies or asthma, we do allergy testing in the mm -hmm. office, breathing tests as well. Um, one thing I like recommending to both of these patients is getting a good nasal rinse, nasal irrigation, the neti pot has become really popular, flushing out the nose so that you get rid of that mucus and debris, things like that. Yes, I'm hearing a lot about the neti pot these days. Yeah. I'm going to give it a try. <laughs> Dr. Nita Ogden, thank you so much thank for you. all that great information. And don't forget, you can follow ABC News Now on Facebook and Twitter. Just search ABC News Now.